Hello you gorgeous beans and welcome back to the channel. As promised, finally, the Enchanted Forest Island Tour is finally here. This island did take me a couple months to complete, but I am incredibly happy with the final result and how everything turned out. Now, the name of this island is Aotearoa, which is the ancient name of New Zealand which is also the reasons why all its habitants are penguins, because penguins do technically originate from New Zealand. I know it's a weird thought, but they do. For that reason, this island was supposed to be kind of like a winter wonderland island, but very quickly I scrapped that idea because I just couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. So I kind of went back to what I enjoy doing, which is kind of like a forest core island. So after the villagers, that is kind of where the New Zealand inspiration stops, but I do truly like how everything worked out. So the island itself isn't necessarily based on the ancient land of New Zealand, but I did want to kind of keep it to this enchanted forest that we are used to reading and hearing about in fairy tales from our childhood. So that's kind of where I went with when it came to inspiration. My main inspiration was just thinking of the Moors from the Disney movie Maleficent. If you haven't seen that, by the way, definitely recommend watching both of them. There are two, but that's kind of where my inspiration went. So it's not all technically based on New Zealand, but there is kind of the history of how this island became what it is now. But without further ado, let's take a look at this map. So as you can see, I did go a little bananas with the terraforming and the waterscaping, but I do love how everything kind of flows together. Once you reach the end of the campsite, you will have to like turn back around. But besides that, I feel like everything does kind of flow really, really nicely. So for our villagers, we have Cube. We have Tex, we have Boomer, Chapwick, Igly, the best boy Wade, we have Rold, Aurora, and Sprinkle. Now as you can see, I did leave Blathers Museum as the tent because I feel like it just kind of fits the vibe of being in a forest much better. But now that we have seen the map and checked out which villagers we have, let's go take a look at this island. So here with the entrance at the airport, you can see we start off with this nice little bridge and this archway, but we are going to turn left from here. You will be walking through a very foresty and magical area, but here we reach the campsite. I kept it very simple by using the kids tents, the campsite and just a buttload of trees. Going further down, you will be reaching a lot of filler area with some bathtubs, some more mushrooms, and just a lot of moss. This area will end in this nice little cave. Going back around and down to the beach, you'll have a couple more tents and you'll also be reaching into this very small and quaint kind of market area and just some gyroids selling what they have. Crossing the bridge, you'll reach into this nice little island and crossing the next bridge over, you'll be reaching the plaza. Now, I was very fortunate that this island did have the plaza quite far away from the airport, which honestly is the best thing ever. It's perfect. Around the plaza, it's again kept incredibly natural with a lot of trees, a lot of these glowing moss items, and some of these star pieces. Crossing the bridge from here, you'll reach into this tiny little forest area where Cube happens to be walking around. And from here, we will also be reaching Blather's little tent. I love the way this area turned out personally. I love how everything glows at night. And I do love the light coming from Blather's tent. And I do really like that I kept it as a tent. I think it just matches the vibe perfectly. There's this little research area of Blather's with some books and a bunch of moss as well. 
Now, as I mentioned, the majority of this island is going to be relatively the same vibe with a lot of glowing moss items, the glowing mushrooms, a lot of plants, flowers, bushes, trees, and just a lot of natural items, a lot of nature, which was kind of the goal. This island is supposed to be kind of like a magical enchanted forest, and I do feel like especially with the glowing moss items, that that idea does translate pretty well. But going up here, we do reach into my own house, which I kept very simple, the same vibe all over. And you can go down here to see the other beach, which is just a tent and a couple of the vine items. Nothing too special. Here we reach into the neighborhood, so this is just going to be two layers of all houses. All of the houses are customized and do all have a different interior. They all have very much the same vibe across all of the houses, but I do like how it all kind of comes together as a community, as a neighborhood, and I do kind of like this layered look of the houses and I honestly might use that for another island. Going right from here, we reach this little magical pond area, which I also do love very much, which then goes into this kind of sunken path of a lot of water, some trees, and again, the same vibe of the glowing moss everywhere. This path does continue over a nice little land bridge and then another sunken waterfall overview, which I also love incredibly much. You can also access the back of this. Most of the stuff on this island is accessible, it's just whether you can see that you can go there. Here we have another little resting place with just a couple of these hammocks. And this ultimately does come back to resident services. And if we go right from resident services, There's another little hidden path here with just a couple decorations, there's not really much going on, but if you continue down this path, you will cross a bridge that leads into the shopping area. So we have Nook's Cranny and Abel Sisters here, and also the fortune cookie cart from Pocket Camp. Which 
up these stairs leads back into the neighborhood area i really like how this turned out there's a lot of space to walk which is very nice but it still carries over the same vibe that the rest of the island has if we quickly go back to where that little waterfall land bridge was you can go right here and then down this little vine where you can reach the other beach mostly along this beach i kept it very the same with a couple of these kids tents there's another pond here with just a couple barrels the flowers again the glowing moss items and just moss everywhere this is supposed to be kind of like a place where any person who happens to wash up can just kind of chill out and relax On the grass, it's pretty much the same vibe that carries over all around. This island is supposed to be just very relaxing and magical. I, I can imagine this island just be filled with little fairies and it just kind of reminded me of the moors from Maleficent. It kind of carries over very much the same vibe. And at the end, there's another little market stall here. And we do happen to have somebody washed ashore. How convenient. But from here, that pretty much has been the entire island already. There is not a lot of difference going on. It's not, there are a couple hidden areas just like the Barbie Island like this. But besides that, there isn't much of a story going on on this island. This island was just supposed to be fun and exciting. And this is kind of what I love doing, just forest core very natural a lot of trees not much linear going on which is why i probably struggle doing any kind of town core but i really love how this turned out this area right here across the bridge where blathers is is absolutely one of my favorites including where the first little glowing pond was i love how those areas turned out i love how blathers area kind of looks like a research area there's another little hidden spot over here where there can be some fishing my house i kept very simple with just the first room upstairs and downstairs every other room i've blocked off conveniently with a bookcase because i didn't really feel like decorating the entire house but i kept it very kind of enchanted like i'm this little fairy who works on making potions and the downstairs has a little bed and a bath and more books where i can do some reading and then the upstairs is kind of almost like a herbology room with just a lot of plants, glowing moss, vines, and where I can play with bugs. As I mentioned before, all the villager houses are customized, but they all pretty much carry the same vibes. As you can see from these four villagers who happen to be home today, they all very much carry the same vibe, but all kind of in different color schemes, which does kind of pull them all together. But that was the entire island and I do truly hope that you guys loved seeing how this island turned out. I personally really like it. It is one of my favorite islands so far that I've done. I really enjoyed making this and I hope to do another one like this in the future. It's not going to be as loose as this one. The next one that kind of carries the same vibe is going to be an island inspired by Pandora from Avatar. That franchise is very close to my heart, so I am incredibly excited to start the island. I haven't yet, but I'll probably be making videos about that island as well. However, speaking of videos, what would you guys like to see me do next? Please feel free to leave in the comments what you would like to see me do, whether it's some speed builds, some more island tours, 
or another series kind of like the Barbie Island. I have some more challenges planned in the future, but I'm not entirely sure on how to structure those yet but do keep an eye out for those as well. If you missed it earlier, here is the dream address for this island so you can visit it on your own time if you would like and find all the secret places, tour on yourself and feel free to use any kind of inspiration that you got from this island. But thank you all so incredibly much for all the support you all have shown me ever since I started uploading Animal Crossing videos. It's been such a fun thing to do and I really enjoyed making these videos and I truly cannot way to do more but for now thank you all so incredibly much for watching feel free to like comment or even subscribe for any more animal crossing content coming to you in the very near future thank you all so much for watching make sure you please stay safe and stay hydrated and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye